Well, praise the Lord, this is Pastor Nicholson of Gates of Faith Ministries right here in the city of Richmond, Virginia. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Want to expound on the verse for today found in Psalms 139, verse 23. And the Bible reads, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Mm. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Now, we do need to do a little digging to find out what is bringing on this request of David from God. He's requesting that God search him, know his heart, try him, and know his thoughts. First of all, we need to understand that David loved God. David loved God with all his heart. And he would do anything to please God. But as we get down to the key verse, as we dig through this, we're going to find that there were some people that were not as pleasing to God as David thought. And so David was a little bit upset. But let's start at verse 1. He says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compasses my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Verse 6 says, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Verse 7, he questions, Whither shall I go from thy spirit? And whither shall I flee from thy presence? You know, you can't get away from God, for he's everywhere present at the same time. He said in verse 8, If I ascend up to heaven, thou art there. And if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, and the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike. God can see as well in the night as he can see in the day. There's nothing hidden from him. He says in verse, four, uh, verse 13, For thou hast possessed my rins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. This is a good area for people that are for abortions to read. He says, For thou hast possessed my rings and hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Verse 15, My substance was not hid from thee. In other words, that little seed that was sown into the womb of the mother, that wasn't hidden. It goes on to say, when I was made in secret and curiously wroth in the lower parts of the earth, thine eyes did see my substance. God could see him in the womb, yet being unperfect. And in thy book, all my memories were written. What is he saying? God had written out everything in the book concerning him before he was even born. Mm. He says in verse 17, How precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more than the sand. When I wake, I am still with thee. Verse 19, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, ye bloody men. Now what David is saying here, there are some wicked men that are against God. and He's saying that you depart from me. He said in verse 20, For they that speak against thee wickedly are thine and thine enemies take thy name in vain. He said in verse 21, Do I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I grieved with them that rise up against thee? He said, I hate them with perfect hate. I count them mine enemies. And now he says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there's any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. So what is David saying? After he had 
pointed out how the wicked treated God. He wanted God to search him and try his heart to make sure that everything in his heart was right. Is everything in your heart right towards God today? Well, I love you with the love of God. Have a blessed day.